This is the Mountain Hardware Phantom. And this is the Mountain Hardware Phantom. That's really confusing. Thanks for checking into DWU Does Things. And I'm gonna talk about these two excellent mountain hardware pieces of down insulation and dispel some, a lot of confusion in the space and why mountain hardware is having a big marketing issue with these two jackets. And additionally, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the mountain hardware ghost whisperer as well. So stay tuned. We're going to get into the specs and details and why Mountain Hardware is having a big problem with these three jackets. So starting out, Mountain Hardware has a phantom line of equipment. It also includes sleeping bags. And what, I, what I've gathered from this line of equipment is it's their super duper ultralight line of down equipment for keeping you warm in cold environments. And while I, I think it's kind of a cool concept, I think that it's caused a lot of confusion, especially when they've had their Phantom Down Belay Parka be so successful and so loved by so many people for so many years. I think it goes back at least until 2015 or before that. Whereas this, this lighter weight, but still amazing down jacket also called the Phantom, has really been kind of misplaced in their lineup. Basically, to give a broad overview, the Mountain Hardware Phantom down hooded jacket, the jacket is everything that the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer should be. This is the perfection of what their ultralight down puffy should look like. It's almost fully featured with the exception of an adjustable hood. It has uh, two hand warmer pockets and also has a chest pocket on the inside as well. And it weighs right in at just about 10 ounces for the medium. It's about 10.07 ounces. It has just a, about 87 grams of down insulation in it with at 800 fill. And so it makes it an incredibly light, but very versatile layer. In addition to that, it's featuring a Pertex Quantum 20 denier diamond fuse ripstop face fabric, which is just absolutely bomb proof. I ran this under the sink and the water just beaded right off the face fabric. It feels incredibly durable and is just super duper rugged and robust and much, much stronger than the face fabric on the Ghost Whisperer behind me. And with that, just instills a lot more confidence in this piece of gear. It's much more weather resistant, much more storm worthy, and it's much, much warmer as well. The Ghost Whisperer I've found has cold spots. You know, this Phantom jacket has larger baffles. I'm gonna put the belay park away for a second. So you see that the Phantom jacket has much bigger baffles than the Ghost Whisperer. And that plays a huge role in enabling this jacket to fully loft. Now, uh, it may cause a little bit of down migration, but I haven't experienced that with this jacket yet. I actually have experienced a lot of down migration with the Ghost Whisperer. So they have almost the same amount of insulation, but I found that the Ghost Whisperer has a much higher propensity to develop cold spots and you can just see right through it. All right, so I'm gonna shine this light through this jacket and you can see just how much that penetrates. And, you know, just, just looking through it, you know, really, I'm not sure if you can see that, but you can just see how much penetration there is there. And, and when looking at this through, you know, in, in daylight, you know, daylight shines right through these, the stitch through design. Now with the Phantom, you can see that there's a much lesser degree of light penetration coming through. And that has to do with this absolutely bomb proof diamond fused 20 denier ripstop. And so you can really see that the light penetration on this phantom down hooded jacket is much less evident than with the Ghost Whisperer. And that has to do with the face fabrics and the larger baffles allowing the down to fill and expand more and, and causing less down migration. The, the design of this phantom hooded jacket it really, it's, it's, 
I can't ex begin to explain how much how much of a better jacket this is. After wearing both of these, I was so cold in the Ghost Whisperer in 40 degree weather, especially when the wind was blowing. But this Phantom down hooded jacket with the 20 denier diamond fuse ripstop face fabric is not only going to be much more wind resistant but also more weather resistant so if you're in a situation if you're either belaying which this is also really you know it's it has these these belay style pockets higher up that's really gonna have a huge effect on how useful and versatile this jacket is really this ghost whisperer for for the amount of ounces and space that you would save with it it's not worth and it's not and it loses so much effectiveness for what this piece of equipment is supposed to do and that's keep you warm when it's cold and the phantom goes a step farther in doing so with a much more wind resistant fabric that's going to trap your heat in but it's also super breathable you know i was just as surprised seeing this face fabric as i was when i first saw a dyneema fabric for the first time i was blown away at how how light this is and how strong it is i'm going to put the ghost whisperer back <laughs> So I, I typically wear a size medium. Sometimes I, I teeter up to a large depending on the brand. But for me, Mountain Hardware's medium fit absolutely perfect. I am five foot seven, 175 pounds. I have a 40 inch chest, 32 inch waist. I have a 32 inch arm and a 17 and a half inch torso, 22 inches pit to pit. And what I found with this Mountain Hardware Phantom down hooded jacket is just an incredible, incredible fit. It, it's not an athletic fit or a slim fit by any means, but it's definitely not relaxed. I'd say it's a regular fit, but a very, very nice regular fit. I feel like I can wear this backpacking at camp, just about anything, uh, or, or, you know, just walking around town in, in Burlington, Vermont. Uh, it's a great Church Street jacket, I would say, for the winter time. The pockets are, are designed to be able to use with a, with a, with a belay or with a, with a harness. What I would say is I think there was a little bit of design confusion and design drift with Mountain Hardware with this jacket, and that is simply because there's no two-way zipper. It's a one-way zipper, which I, I feel like if you're going to be implementing belay style pockets or belay ready pockets you should also do the, the the bottom zipper as well to be able to really fully utilize the functionality of this but I'm much more of a backpacker much more of a uh, backcountry ski touring guy so for me this jacket works perfectly so a few more other features on this jacket I'm gonna put, pull the hood up just for a second <laughs> So you'll see what the hood on this jacket is. It's it's pretty conforming to my profile. The the website shows this jacket being used with, you know, being able to fit a helmet underneath the hood. I don't realistically I don't see that happening. I'm wearing I'm just wearing a flat brim hat, turtle fur from Vermont Adaptive. Shout out to Vermont Adaptive um, with some sunglasses. And that's about all I can fit in this hood. It has an elasticized hem around the hood, which is nice for keeping it close. And I really like how the collar here fans out or butterflies out rather than curling in on my neck. I, I just think that's a thoughtful design and an effective design. Another feature that I really like about this jacket that I really wish the Ghost Whisperer had is the presence of a internal chest pocket now an internal chest pocket for me is very very useful i will i often carry around extra gopro batteries a garmin in reach or my cell phone and when it's cold out you want a little bit of protection to keep make sure that battery lasts a long time so that's why i really love an internal chest pocket now you'll see that the internal face fabric is a little bit different than the external i would say that this is probably a much lighter maybe even maybe 15 or even 10 to near nylon rips stop and i think i think that's just that works just fine I, I i just think that this jacket is so thoughtfully made 
And it is really, I think, the pinnacle in Mountain Hardware's arsenal of ultralight down hooded jackets. Again, it weighs about 10 ounces. The Ghost Whisperer weighs just over nine ounces. So there's very little weight difference. I and mean, there's very little fill difference, but the baffle design on the Phantom jacket here makes for much larger baffles, which allows for more loft. And, and then again, the face fabric on it is so much more durable, so much more wind and weather resistant than the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer. To me, this is the pinnacle of Mountain Hardware down insulating equipment here, right here for what it's purpose built for. Now, I think Mountain Hardware is a little bit confused on what they built this for. On their website, they, they towed it as their warmest jacket for shiver-free belays. I would not agree with that, and I think that's very misleading, people thinking that this is a belay parka because it shares the same name as their belay parka, the Phantom. And so, People buying this jacket, I saw reviews on, on Mountain Hardware's website where people were actually complaining because they thought that the Phantom got worse over the years. But it, it's, this is a different Phantom than this. So let's talk about this. If you are looking for a belay jacket for very cold weather, do not buy the Phantom down hooded jacket. There's a much better option for you. And that is the Mountain Hardware Phantom Hooded Parka. Mind-blowingly light and beautifully lofty. Now this is a large, and I will not be keeping the large. I thought that maybe I would be able to fit into a large and be able to layer underneath it. But this jacket is just too big, so I'm gonna be returning this one. But I wanna talk about it. So the Mountain Hardware Down Hooded Phantom Parka. This is the pinnacle of belay parkas for keeping you absolutely toasty warm on those sub-zero days when you're ice climbing or hitting the summit of Mount Washington or you know any of the 14ers out in Colorado or out west. This is going to keep you warm in all but the harshest conditions. This jacket weighs 619 grams, which is right at 20 ounces. And for a 20 ounce jacket, this piece of equipment is incredibly lofty. That is really what you want and need for a cold, cold day. And being 800 fill down, this jacket just puffs right up and just feels like a cloud. And I wanna talk about some of the features of this jacket. So this also features a 20 denier diamond fuse ripstop nylon, which is just so incredibly durable feeling, yet super duper light and very breathable. It's one of the best fabrics I have felt. The Pertex 20 denier diamond fuse ripstop gave me the same wow factor as I had when I first experienced the Dyneema composite fabric. It's just, it's so durable and it just lends so, so much confidence in the fact that I know I'm not going to have to worry about down spilling out if I brush against a rock. You know, I'm going to be able to, to use this while I'm doing rugged activities in the extreme cold. So let's talk about, uh, let's, let's just go over the specs again real quick. So this jacket weighs 619 grams and there's not much information out there as to the amount of down fill. Now, Mountain Hardware's other extremely lightweight summit parka the nihilus has 215 grams of down fill and i would estimate the phantom parka to have at least that amount it does feel more lofty and and having a, a lighter face fabric than the nihilus it is a lighter jacket so i can i can see it having probably at least 215 grams of fill now i've i've seen forums and things like that stating anywhere between six and a half and eight and a half grams of down fill this could, this jacket very well could have you know 230 grams of, of down now i know that the Montane Chonos here. This jacket has 250 grams of downfill, which is 8.8 .8 ounces. And it weighs just right around 23 or 24 ounces. I don't think that the Phantom has quite as much downfill as this jacket, but it is a lighter piece of equipment than the, than the Chonos. The face fabric is, I would say, more durable than the Pertex Quantum 100 
that you have on the Chronos. But let's talk more about the Phantom here. So with the Mountain Hardware Phantom, there's a couple of features that I am absolutely obsessed with and have not seen as done as well as other pieces of gear. Now I am burning up right now. This thing is an absolute oven. The first feature that I really think is kind of cool is this Y-shaped zipper here. This feature right here makes it really easy to do this two-way zipper with gloves on. Just be able to string it up every single time. Another piece that I really like about this jacket is these massive baffles behind the zipper. This is just a massive tube of Pertex diamond fuse ripstop filled with 800 fill RDS certified down. And that is critical for keeping warm in and wind and cold out. Now another very, very nice feature that's on this baffle that I really like is a clear zipper guard film. It's almost like an adhesive double layer of the Pertex to keep a little bit of rigidity in the zipper. So yeah, it's very, I don't think I've really snagged a zipper on this once. And that, that just lends so much confidence. So another amazing feature on this jacket is the neck baffle. This is a wearable torso sized sleeping bag. There is an enormous additional baffle right here in the neck. Just another huge Pertex tube filled with 800 fill RDS down, wrapping and hugging around your entire neck. And the fact that Mountain Hardware figured this part out is, is really impressive and really thoughtful. Now, when, when I'm putting my hood up, there's a seam and that is a very weak point on a lot of jackets where it's difficult to be able to keep down fill and down insulation in there, whether the hood's on or off. And so to be able to have this additional piece of baffle and down sealing in your entire neck and keeping all the heat that's rising in the jacket in is really going to keep you warm. Like I, I'm sweating right now and I don't find that with the Nihilus jacket, which is supposedly a warmer summit jacket. It's purpose built for summits. This is purpose built for belaying. The Nihilus jacket has an even thicker two layer 15 denier Pertex air shield, but with the, the hood on this jacket, it doesn't have that baffle. And so I actually find myself heating up in this jacket much quicker than with the Nihilus. Despite the Nihilus being a more weather and wind resistant jacket and having that element add to the, the warmth and stormworthiness of that jacket, this right off the bat just feels so much warmer. And that's because of that neck baffle trapping in all of my heat and keeping it from rising out of my neck and shoulders. And what I like about this hood is it does have a little extra flap here for brims or helmets so that so that your helm so that the hood is staying attached and turning with your head and moving with your head that's a that's a very nice feature that a lot of these other jackets behind me don't have and i i'm really a huge fan of that so another feature that i really like about this jacket is the two-way zipper that is something that you should always be looking for with a true belay parka now, one feature that I like that goes even a little bit further is having a belay button down here so that you can zip this bottom zipper up, have your line coming out the, uh, from your harness, but still be able to have the bottom closed and be able to trap that heat in down, down there. This does not have a belay button, but I understand that it might have been a weight savings decision. Another fantastic piece is this main zipper right here. It has a nice kind of soft plastic loop here that enables you to, even with gloves, loop your thumb in there and be able to pull it. The hand warmer pockets on this jacket lie beneath the down on the outside, which is really nice and a, a great feature for, for making sure that whatever you're putting in these pockets, it's staying warm. Now there is even a slight layer of down on the inside as well, which is honestly quite impressive. For such a light jacket coming in at 20 ounces, it is incredibly light, but incredibly lofty. And there's so many features on this jacket. There is additionally an internal chest pocket as well. And that is sandwiched between a layer of down on the outside with these box baffles and, and a, an extra little sheath of down on the inside as well. Another feature that I would not go without is two huge dump pockets on the inside. 
So these jet, these pockets can easily fit a Nalgene, probably two Nalgenes. You could probably fit two Nalgenes in this, these uh, dumb pockets in here. So another great feature is an adjustable hood cinch on the back. Pretty much single-handed if, uh, if you wanted it to be. And that, and that cinch really pulls right along the inside of the hood here and keeps your hood tight against your head in, in the event that it's windy out and, and you need that extra tension up there. It has a pinch lock single release, single-handed release back there, and then it does tuck right up inside a small garage. So one feature that I'm not a huge fan of on this jacket and uh, that's also featured on the Ghost Whisperer is these cuffless cuffs. I find that your wrist in this area, the cuffs is a very high abrasion risk or abrasion prone zone. And for the Pertex to just be the only line of defense here is a little bit concerning. I would always love to see elasticized cuffs, but you can see as it's ju really just the Pertex rolled over. Now, you're, you're gonna always be wearing gloves pretty much if you're wearing a jacket like this. If you're standing still or, you know, anytime you have to don a huge piece of gear like this, a huge piece of down insulation, your, your little appendages and phalanges are probably needing some coverage as well. And so these cuffs are designed to be used in conjunction with gloves. And there is an internal elastic hem in there that joins the internal face fabric, which again is different than the 20 denier diamond fuse ripstop on the outside. And it fuses those, those two layers together and just creates a little bit of tightness and closure in there. But I do feel with my wrists, there is some, some gap and some play there. But again, that's to accommodate for not only gloves, but also perhaps a, a base layer long sleeve underneath there. The difference that I found that I like on the Nihilus better is these elastic cuffs that also have a really nice little thumb hole in there. So these cuffs on the Nihilus jacket are, are, I think, a much better design, and I wish they would have duplicated that with the, the Phantom jacket. But if they're making two different jackets with very different designs and purposes, I can understand why they may have gone with this on the, on the Nihilus with these sleeve cuffs versus the, uh, the, the cuffless cuffs on the Phantom. I, again, it's so super light. We're gonna do a packability test real quick in a uh, six liter stuff sack just to see how much this packs down. So that's, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about with the, the Phantom here. Again, this is the Mountain Hardware Phantom, and this is the Mountain Hardware Phantom. They are two very different jackets built for two very different purposes and different environments. This Mountain Hardware Phantom hooded jacket is an absolutely phenomenal, versatile, durable, extremely lightweight at weighing in at 10 ounces with three ounces of downfill in it at 800 downfill. This is a super ultra light down puffy that's gonna keep you warm for three season use or, or really also keep you warm uh, for, with active winter use. This is gonna probably become my go-to down hooded jacket for pretty much any activity that I'm gonna be go doing. I'm gonna pack this in my backpacking pack for fall and spring use, probably also for winter use as well as an active layer when it's really cold out. I can also see myself wearing this on Church Street in Burlington, Vermont. So I, I, it's a really stylish, fashionable, great fitting jacket. And I think it's one of the most durable ultralight down hooded jackets on the market. I can't say enough good things about this. This is a fantastic piece of gear, but it's poorly marketed. I would love to see them stick with this jacket and rebrand it and rename it. I think the Mountain Hardware Intrepid is a, is a very fitting name for this because of how durable and how versatile it is for any adventure in all but, you know, really cold environments. In which case, I would definitely go with the Mountain Hardware Phantom Hooded Down Parka. This parka is absolutely purpose-built for shiver-free belays, not this one which is what this is marketed as. Mountain Hardware markets their Phantom Parka 
as a parka for high altitude summits in a sense, but I would say that with all of the features on this jacket, this is your belay jacket for ice climbing and sub-zero days. This is also a great jacket for packing it for fast and light summit trips, but I would say for real hardcore summit use, you are gonna wanna look at something like the Nihilus jacket right here. So let's talk about layering for a second. The Mountain Hardware Phantom Down Parka is an interesting piece. The body of it is great for for layering. And the reason why I tried, I wanted to go with the large is because I had always heard that the arms on this jacket are a little bit tight and make for a little bit more of a challenging layering system. And right now, so I'm wearing the Big Agnes dome peak underneath it. It's a lightweight Primalof gold active mid layer. And it's one of my go-tos for, for active use and just having that ultra light mid layer for winter use. But with the, the Phantom hooded parka right now, the body feels fine, but I actually do feel some constriction and some compression of the loft in the sleeves here. As far as layering goes, you know, I think if I had gotten my the right size for me, which is really the medium, I would actually have even more of a problem with layering this. All the reviews that have said it's a kind of a weird fit are true. You know, I would say that this is really a great layer for when, you know, this is just going over your base layer for when you know you're coming off a burn or you know you're you're hitting the end of a ski tour and, and you really just need something to throw on right away when it's really cold out i think a patagonia r1 or melanzana or, or another light layer like that or an alpha direct layer from polar tech might work really nice underneath it but yeah i would definitely say that the layering on this is a little bit challenging on the phantom parka so let's uh let's take a quick look at the layering with the mountain hardware phantom down hooded jacket. So with, with the, the phantom hooded jacket, the only tight spot that I've ever found on it really is in the back. And that's only really when I cross my arms or I'm reaching for something, do I kind of feel it pull a little bit? And that is a little bit exaggerated when I have a layer on underneath it. But this jacket is, I honestly can't say enough good things about this jacket. It layers so very well. You know, I actually don't have that same down compression on the arms that I did with the phantom down parka over here. And so, you know, I'm just, I, I really can't say enough good things about this jacket. Right now it is June 15th, 2022, and it's this jacket, the Mountain Hardware Phantom Down Hooded Jacket is on sale, 70% off on their website for $104, down from like 350 or 375. So it's, you really can't get a better deal than that for such an effective, versatile, durable, weather resistant, ultra light, super warm, piece of gear. So let's wrap this up. To recap, the Mountain Hardware Phantom Down Hooded Jacket is everything that the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer should be. This is the Ghost Whisperer 2, and I am so disappointed with a jacket that costs so much, that provides so little in terms of warmth, and so little in terms of longevity. The face fabric is so soft and delicate that I've already have a couple of rips in it, and I found that the down migrates quite a bit in this jacket, leading to really ineffective cold spots and just a just a disappointing piece of gear for the price the zipper on it also is a little feels a little bit too flimsy i know it was a weight saving strategy but this jacket is not going to last nearly as long as the phantom hooded jacket and for 25 dollars more retail i think that this is absolutely the way to go the phantom is going to outlast the ghost whisperer many times over and really be just a much more effective piece of equipment and what it's supposed to do and that's keep you warm when it's cold let's say take a seat to the ghost whisperer and let's summarize with these two jackets the mountain hardware phantoms jackets the mountain hardware phantom down hooded jacket is probably your best option for a durable super duper warm weather and wind resistant down insulating mid or outer layer for three season use or four season active use. The Mountain Hardware Phantom Down Parka is one of the best options out there for an ultra warm, super light belay parka for below zero days when you're ice climbing or hitting summits on ski tours.